and cute as y'all think you're the heroes of this little adventure, but you're not. Welcome to Pandora, kiddo. Hey, what's up guys? Back with another BGTV quick guide for Borderlands 2. This time is the Commando Axton. Now, um, this is just my build. You're free to comment on it and post some other builds and I'll try them out because I'm cool like that. So for this build, mainly it's about the turrets. You know, uh, I do have a bit of my own, you know, like increased gun damage and melee damage and uh, but mostly it's it's about the, the turrets so we've gone for this one here allowing you to deploy two saber turrets because that would be awesome just start off with your normal action skill I went with sentry here increases the number of shots your saber turret fires in each burst and that's plus five and also increases the turret duration by 10 seconds laser sight to increase the accuracy of the saber turret uh, onslaught, killing an enemy increases your gun damage and movement speed. Now let's go along with that one for when I don't have my turrets up. And then Scorched Earth adds rockets to my saber turret. Which is cool. Which means double the rockets, 44 rockets per volley. If I chuck down two turrets, plus 10 extra shots per round or per burst. Uh, then we've gone tanky, so I can just run around and be a pest. All my turrets are taking anyone out. Usually it's the other way around, like I leave my turret out to tank for me while I snipe people out, but it's been boring. So we're gonna do this way. After all, he is a commando on the sniper. Although, I guess snipers can be commandos and vice versa. Ah, oh, getting off topic here. Um, so I've gone with healthy, increases maximum health. Uh, preparation increases my shield capacity because at the moment I have an awesome shield that has about it's a turtle shield which decreases my magic uh, my magic uh, increases my decreases my maximum health by about 260 or so off of my 800 I think I have but it's a 1300 capacity shield so I want to increase that shield capacity by a bit 15% and I regenerate 2% of my health while my shields are full. Uh, I've gone for Phalanx Shield on my Saber Turret, and that will help it be a tank. So I, I don't know why I grabbed that, I'll test it out, I just wanted to see. Quick Charge, killing an enemy causes your shields to quickly regenerate, so I'm hoping to keep that 1300 or 1500 shield up. Uh, I've gone more resourceful, increases the cooldown rate on your Saber Turret action skill. And that is to go along with my current class mod, which also, I think, decreases it by 20% or so. Uh, Maglock, your saber turret can be deployed on walls and ceilings, that you get ones that are further away. Grit, you gain a chance to ignore damage that would otherwise kill you. This skill just sounded very cool. And uh, that's 16% chance of ignoring death, and during that time, I'll regenerate half my maximum health. Wow. And then Gemini. Two Saber Turrets. So that's pretty much this build. Not much to it. Um, I was thinking of building down this way. But I've seen bosses start to take out my turret pretty easily. Especially grenade bosses. You know, a couple of their big grenades will take out my turret sometimes. I'm not sure if there's like turret health. Uh, they may be in the skill tree, but I'm not sure if there's turret health for like uh, class mods or anything. So I'm not sure. But yeah, um, nuke was also very tempting, and I'm hoping later if they have two more skill points that I can go double turrets and nuke. Double nukes would be awesome. Double nuke power. All right, hope this helped. If you have your builds, uh, feel free to post them or make a response video, I always allow responses to my videos. Uh, stay tuned for some more Borderlands 2 action.